All right, kids, had a request for uh, how to find the area of a regular polygon. So question A and B, they're a little rough. They're, they're tough questions. So I'm going to start just slow and do question C with you. But before we could do that, let's zoom in to this right here. Okay, what I have a regular hexagon ready to go for you. There's some things you need to know. First off, we're going to put the center of, oh, that's pretty good. All right, so that's the center of the polygon, okay? Then we're gonna need to know something called, well, let me give you the formula. The formula is A equals one half AP. So A stands for area, equal stands for equals, half stands for half, obviously. A stands for, well, you don't know yet, and P, if you took a wild guess, you'd probably, probably be right, it's the perimeter of the shape. So what is A? Well, A, my friends, I'm going to drop it down in red because it's pretty important. I just did, I just drew the apothem. So right here, if uh, this is how you spell it, uh, apothem. Most, a lot of people say apothem. I don't like it. I like apothem. Anyhow, not only does it come down perpendicular, it bisects the side. Okay, that's going to be important. The other thing you need to know and maybe we'll uh, we'll use black, is this right there. That, my friends, is the radius of this polygon. It goes from the center to a vertice, okay? Now that we have that, we can handle some of these questions. So I'm going to scoot down and do C, because C, you know, if you're paying attention, is just about the kind I'd put on a test. Okay. So we have another regular hexagon. So first things first, I, since it's a hexagon, I'm pretty good at drawing hexagons, so I'm going to draw one. Uh, it's not my best effort. Actually, that's uh, who, nah, I'm going to get rid of that. That's terrible. Let's try that again. It's not easy with this stylus. Okay, now we're cooking. Still not great, but let's put the center. Okay, now it gives us that this length is four. Okay, so what I could do is come down and drop down the apothem and the radius. Okay, well, if that's the case, if this whole side is four, that little nugget right there is two. Okay, now you got to think of it this way. How many pieces of pizza, how many slices of pizza? There's one, there's two. There's three, four, five, six of them, okay? Well, how many degrees do you think this is? If there's 360 in a circle, well, you guessed it, this is going to be 60 degrees. But we only want half of it, okay? We only want that half, which is half of 60, which is 30 degrees. Oh, I don't know about you, but I think we have a 30, 60, 90, okay? It's going to happen every single time for a regular hexagon. So off to the side, let's orient our 30, 60, 90 triangle 30 60 you get the idea one two radical three so if we write down our formula a equals one half a p we can bring this baby home a equals one half what's the apothem that's this right there well how do i go from here to there that's like going here to there so i just multiply by radical three so my apothem is two radical three Okay, um, now we need the perimeter. Well, the perimeter is pretty easy. This is four. Well, how many sides do you have? Six of them. So six times four is 24. So we can get an exact answer. Okay, well, half of two is one and one times 24, 24 radical three and their units. So let's call it units squared. Okay, I'm going to come back and I'll do question A and B and question 36 for you later, but this should give you a good start. A lot of times, though, you're going to need to use trigonometry to find this and this, okay? But until then, take a break.